Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome to Plain Time Dancing Wings Hobby New Improved Tiger Moth Edition and this is the 800mm wingspan Tiger Moth from Dancing Wings Hobby. So you may have seen Dancing Wings Hobby has been offering a, a special deal for people who want to get the plane uh, and do a video and I thought sure and I've always wanted to have a ti and fly a tiger moth so uh, um, I contacted them and they sent me this plane which has arrived this very day so I'm going to do quickly open the box we're going to have a look inside and see what comes out of the box with this new improved version of the dancing wings hobby tiger moth Well, just to say, the very first thing that Dancing Wings Hobby has done is improve their packaging. The Fokker DR1 that I previously built came in a plain cardboard box. Well, now we have a properly printed box, a nice sticker, some information about the plane. Uh, what I've gone for is what they call the so-called plug and play edition, which doesn't mean it's all set up and ready to just plug in but it means it includes everything you need except for the transmitter now you can also buy a version that includes the transmitter and there's also an option to to purchase uh, the dancing wings hobby um, aero rc receivers that will work with pretty much any um any transmitter that you have they have spectrum they have fr sky they have fly sky um, and so you you could go with that I chose not to in this case I'm probably going to be doing something interesting of course so something else nicely done two clean crisp cardboard boxes inside which also means that you had double layers of cardboard protecting the box in shipping you know if there had been any damage to the outside box it probably wouldn't have made it through to the inside box so let's see what we've got in, inside the boxes. Wow, just wow, look at that. Okay, we'll start with this one. This is the fuselage, and wow, doesn't that look nice? Now, of course, okay, this is the ARC version of the model, and that is the deal. I mean, one of the, the specialities of this particular version. We're not building a plane from scratch. It's almost ready to fly, and uh, so all of the finicky details have been done for you the covering as you can see a beautifully done area wrinkle wrinkle anywhere and yeah look at that just absolutely beautiful finish um, there's obviously something going to be screwed in here and here so it's got screw holes pre-marked there's a hatch uh, for the battery lots of lots of room inside and so we'll see how that works out in terms of um, my interesting ideas we've got a cowling seems to be preformed plastic so that fits on there quite nicely and we'll just screw on once I get the motor installed and I'm not sure exactly where that goes but I'll, I will figure that out later and then we've got the, the, the wing joiner at the top and we've got our rudder and vertical stabilizer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now, if any of you have built one of the Dancing Wings hobby models in the past, you will have been challenged with the mm, abbreviated instructions that were typically single page double-sided uh, with some pictures but very little by way of instructions this is different and it's very very nice to see thank you dancing wings hobby for listening and doing this having a good quality manual really makes a big difference and uh, I'm, I'm impressed so what we have here is the 0 0.8 meter tiger moth balsa wood scale airplane a bummer i'm not going to have this ready to fly tomorrow we have a scale uh, fun fly at our club tomorrow but 
uh, I won't get this done in time. So let's just have a quick flip through the manual and see what we get because it strikes me this is this is one of the highlights that's really going to make a difference and make it um, a lot more achievable to um, to build and successfully fly this plane with uh, detailed instructions like this. So we've got first of all pictures with labels with everything labeled clearly uh, as to what is included. The second thing is um, oh and now this is another thing that um, you know I learned through bitter experience um, is actually the assembly symbol guide is for example telling you use medium CA glue here use thin CA glue here, push tightly, use a hobby knife, tighten, apply oil. So the different, oh, and use epoxy as an example of a use epoxy, which we'll see somewhere here. Use epoxy is to use epoxy to screw the, or to glue the tail plane on. So it's wonderful. It's really good to have very clear instructions about exactly uh, what, what, how to put together each individual piece. So we've got the landing gear, which I'm guessing we'll come to in the box in a second. Um, we've got installing the tail plane. We've got putting the servos in and connecting them up. Oh my goodness. And you know what else? In order. The, the order of assembly is so important, as you probably know, if you built a couple of models, it can be quite important to do one thing before you do the other thing. Otherwise, things get in the way or they won't fit together. Guess what? This is actually laid out in order of which thing you should put in, in which order, which is just really nice to see. If you're building a model like this from scratch, or the very first time you've done it, simple thing like, well, should I run the, the wires out of the motor to the left, over the top, out the bottom? And if there's instructions from someone like Dancing Wings Hobby, who's probably built a hundred of these, uh, about the best way to do it. Yeah, put it right there for us. So we have an easy time of putting these things together. We've got display the electronics and battery compartment. Usually the control throws. Oh my goodness, look at that. The control throws, either on 20, um, 20 to 35 degrees up, 20 to 35 degrees down, elevator 25 degrees up, 25 down, router 25 degrees left and right. Really, really awesome so that oh and my goodness look at this pre-flight checks check and adjust servo centering double check the spinning direction of the motor oh yeah i've made that mistake um yeah the plane tries to fly backwards <laughs> because the motor's running the wrong way there's a pretty nice looking plane let's see how the wings look because i'm sure this has to be the wings right i mean what else could it be? And oh, wings and gadgets. Okay, I love gadgets. And here we have all of the servos, motor, ESC, um, all of the spars and struts uh, to hold the, the, the top wings on. Ah. Oh, a beautifully pre-made set of landing gear and I have to say I am so happy about that because I struggle with bending wires to get landing gear right and it's done like all you all I'm gonna have to do is screw that onto the bottom of the plane and um, and that's gonna be ready to go I'm not sure where that goes I'm thinking it probably goes on about there nice um, little winglets on the landing gear but there I mean even the wheels are screwed on and they are ready to go so that's just very very nice we've got here all of our screws and our rigging and double-sided tape for mounting the receiver we've got a propeller so the propeller the standard propeller is a 7x5 and carbon fiber spars and here we get here we have the wings so as in stickers so we have dancing wings hobby we've got uh, markings 
we've got our British British rondelles or maybe if I turn it upside down it can be French um, and and the wings so let's have a let's have a look at one of the wings I don't need you know what I'm going to choose the bottom wings because we have ailerons on this plane and I am quite happy about that I do like having ailerons um, it does typically make the plane just nicer to fly okay oh wow that's pretty nice so not only do we have a beautifully finished wing where oh look at that they've taped in pull through what pull through string to pull through the the servo connectors um, the hinges are pre-installed but that just looks really nice doesn't it there you have 800 millimeter wingspan dancing wings hobby Tiger Moth 800mm Mark II, new improved version, almost ready to fly. And I'm going to probably, I'm going to put this together pretty quick. I may not do a video about the details of the assembly. So, what I was looking for just now, I'm looking through the plane and I'm thinking, how do I get the servos, the servo rods for the elevator and rudder from the front of the plane down to the back of the plane? Guess what, you don't. You install the servos here, right in the back. And one of the reasons why you can do that is because the servos that Dancing Wings Hobby have provided are these, and I really like, I really do like them. These are uh, 3.7 gram, very lightweight, but very good servos. I've used them before on a couple of other of my models. And this will mean that for one single 3.7 gram servo on this side and one single 3.7 gram servo on this side, um, half the weight almost of a standard, well, two thirds of the weight of a standard nine gram servo, we have the control surfaces managed for the elevator and rudder at the back of the, pl at the, back of the plane here. So um, that's, I think a really nice design. It means you don't have to worry about trying to thread um, control rods through dealing with the, the bending and flexing because they're just going to be nice and short and very close to the, the actual control surfaces. A bit like the same way here, we have the aileron servos and they'll be right next door to the aileron control rods. So there, there we have it. That's the plane. That's the Dancing Wings Hobby Tiger Moth 800 millimeter brand new improved edition. And thank you so much to Dancing Wings Hobby for sending this to me, which I really do appreciate it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to building this plane, putting it together and then flying it in the very, very near future. All right, Tim the Plane Man, over and out.